all right guys welcome back to my channel today's video i'm going to show you guys how you can edit a receipt or maybe your dad is outside or your mom and asks you to purchase something and you want to modify the receipt so that you can keep some balance in this video i'm going to show you how to edit it using photoshop so i went online to download some receipts okay so let me show you this is actually the type of receipt we are going to do it so this is the receipt if you can see so we are actually going to edit this receipt using photoshop so let's get in please don't forget or do all to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell and make sure you like this video as well okay so let's launch our photoshop app okay so we are in our working space over here and we are going to do this editing using the photoshop tools that's the inbuilt tools i've already explained all these tools and they are functioning in my video on this channel also have the whatsapp group and telegram group down below in the description so you can join the groups for more tutorials please do want to subscribe to this channel so what we are going to do is that we are going to import our receipt into photoshop you press the control key plus o to open um, the folder for you so we are going to select the type of receipt that we want as i said earlier we are going to import this receipt okay so now we press and open it it will open a new document tab okay sure you see that i just open over here and we have our receipt over here so let me zoom in you zoom in using the control key plus the plus sign and you zoom out using the control key plus the minus sign so we are zooming in. so the receipt says um one t-shirt was purchased for 25 dollars 50 cents one watches was purchased for 299 dollars one pants 332 dollars 99 cents and one socks that's six dollars 50 cents in case you were giving 500 dollars so the person who made the purchase for all these goods was giving 500 dollars in cash to make a purchase and we actually want to keep maybe hundred dollars out of the five hundred dollars um, and you know some parents will be asking for receipts and all those stuff so we are actually going to modify the figures over here the first two that we are going to tackle um is the clone two okay this is the two that i'm talking about so that's a clone two and we are actually going to clone um some parts so we are going to change the watches to instead of three hundred dollars right now we are going to change it to four hundred dollars okay we are going to change it to 400 dollars and we are going to use this using the clone to so we've selected our clone to show sure, that's it clone to and we will start we select um the size and the hardness so with the size let's increase it more so that we get a very um nice size so before we can clone this we have to press the alt key okay you press the alt key hold the alt key just hold it and left click anywhere so you left click here you leave it you bring it here you can see that it's actually having effect on it right now you can see that um the two nana is no more and i think the size is too big so let's change the size more and the hardness to the size okay so i think this one is okay so once we have our clone to ready right now we move to the black um part and that's the nine we left click to eliminate it we left click left click so we eliminate all this section from there okay so okay so we can see that the two nine nine is no more there okay we have cloned it out the two nine nine doesn't really exist again so let's use the test to to um type uh figure here so it's like the test to on the menu bar okay so that's the capital t over there we select it now let's type the 400 okay so let's resize it let's resize it okay let's resize this one so in case you want to resize it too, you can press the um, control key to bring all these boxes and you can just resize it to the size you want. 
100 dollars i think the position let's push it up small okay so i think it's okay now okay i think you fit perfectly okay so you can clearly see that this receipt has been modified okay you can see that the 400 is different from all the characters over here so what we are going to do is that i think this is one of the important section we are going to make it look like the other characters on the receipt so we just um move to the menu bar select filter the filter over here move to blur select blur from there drop down and then you select the gaussian blur this is the gaussian blur okay so select the gaussian blur before we can um make changes to this type of um, with, um data over here unless we convert this type of layer to either a smart object or rasterize it so you choose rasterize or convert to smart object okay any of them is okay so let's choose the convert to smart object with the radius i prefer something remember this is blade so we don't want to make it so deep so i prefer using 0 0.3 so let's type our three over here and i think it look perfect now so the three fits perfectly okay so you can now see that they look perfect okay you can't actually differentiate between them now since we have modified this one i think we have to modify the total amount i have to fasten this video so we are actually going to use the same procedure i'm done editing it so i've actually made it changes to the total amounts that we were supposed to pay and i've also made some amendment to the cash pay to the cashier and the balance given to us okay the change given to us okay so let's compare the previous one so in our previous um receipt we had um 25 dollars for a t-shirt 299 for watches 32 dollars for pants and six dollars for socks okay so the total amount was $363.99. The amount given in cash to the um, cashier was $400. And they gave us a change. That's a balance of $36. Um, As we compare, this is $400. We gave the $400 to the cashier. But on this receipt, we actually give the cashier $500. And they gave us $36 as a change in case we are done with our work and we actually want to save it so press the control plus x or you can go to the far we have already saved this one so let's try and save it in a new format so save us okay it will access on our computer or cloud document save onto our computer and over here it's going to ask for the far name okay so let's make it um my receipts okay my receipts okay so the save as type the psd is for photoshop meaning the photoshop file this can be sent to anyone this you save it in this format in case you want to come back and make any changes to it you have to save it in this format but in case you want to send it as a screenshot or an original picture taken by a phone you click here and you select jpeg this is the gpg the jpeg okay so it will be in an image form you click on save and i think this is okay okay so let's go out and check how it look like so my receipt this is my receipt let's open it so now it look perfect and there is no trace or uh, there is nothing that could let anyone get to know that this receipt has been already edited because it looks very nice and it looks clean as the receipt says thank you so much i want to take this opportunity to thank everyone for watching this video and please subscribe please do well to subscribe to my channel and make sure you like this video and turn on the notification bell to await more videos that will be dropped on this channel thank you so much